Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to draw a castle. Okay, the last thing you might want to consider, uh, and this is a lot of work, but it, it will make the castle look significantly better, is you want to make sure that you have the stone patterns uh, you know, on the outer edges of the castle so that you can kind of see uh, the stones pop a little bit more. So the way to do that is to take a, your paintbrush. Now I'm using a three in this case. I drew with a two, so you want a paintbrush that's a little bit bigger than what you were using before. Um, I've condensed the castle down into one layer, okay, and what I'll do is I'm going to draw around the edges of these stones like this, see? Just gives it a more realistic feel. And you can imagine as you go down the castle on, you know, both sides, kind of what it, you know, what it would look like. The other thing you can do is you can use your eraser when you get these gaps like this just to fix them up a little bit like that so it looks doesn't look like it was drawn in so much just like that again cartoonish but it works Okay, so you can see here, when you do that outline, you give it that stony feeling, that stony texture. Um, it works pretty well. If you want to add some more effects to this castle, you can. You can do shading. Um, since it's one, one solid object, the way to do the shading on this, if you want to add more, is to first select the outside all around this object. Okay. The next thing you do is add a layer, then you add a color like orange. You select the inside of this orange area, which if you take the castle away you can see is an empty area because the castle was what was there. Now I've selected the shape of the castle. I tuck this orange layer beneath and go back to my castle level. Now my castle is selected, so if I want to add more shading to it I can. I'm going to add a layer. I'm going to take my paintbrush at about 65 and I'm going to have it pure black. And I'm going to do the sides of the towers. Just like that. And then I'll do a little bit here and a little bit here. Okay? Now I am going to do a blur. It's going to be a Gaussian blur. And watch. Just like that. Okay, last thing I'm going to do before I tie up here is I am going to create some castle windows. And you may recall that castle windows tend to be little slots like that. I can probably make them, in this case I'm going to use six, just like that. I like that. So here's the basic castle. Now, it's a simple castle, it's nothing with too many frills, but you can use these towers and these walls to build something bigger. And if you combine it with a background and some trees, you can make a picture that really pops. Here's an example of one that I just did recently. 
um, that uses the very same castle, except I've extended the walls and made the castle a little bit bigger and added some towers and a walkway and some trees, and I'm using one of my default backgrounds. I would probably want to add some grass in here too at some point, but just to give you an idea of what you can draw using this program. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for future pictures.